The six forms of the verb ser are soy, which means am, eres, which means are, es, which means is, somos, which means are, and son, which means are. I'm Isabel and I'm going to teach you the ten subject pronouns. For I, it's yo. For you, informal, it's tu. For he, it is el. For she, it is ella. For you, formal, it is usted. If you wanted to say we, as in all males and females, you would say nosotros. If you wanted to say we, meaning all females, you would say nosotras. Now, if you want to say they all mean males and females, you would say ellos. If you want to say you all mean males, you would say ellos. If you want to say you all, you would say you steady for me. Hey, I'm going to be teaching you how to write sentences and questions using ser. Hector went over ser, the uh, different ways to say ser, which ser means to be. And Isabel went over the subject pronouns that go with ser. And I wanted to let you know that a lot of times you're going to have to use the subject pronouns and ser together. And in some cases you don't. But the best way you can think of it is... Yo soy means I am. Yo is I and soy is am. So it makes sense to say I am an athlete. It doesn't make sense to say I am an athlete. So in some cases you're going to have to use both. But pretty much I have some examples here of using all of your sayers with subject pronouns. And all of them I'm just using day which means from and then saying Indiana after it. So first one is Yo soy de Indiana, which means I am from Indiana. Next one is Tu eres de Indiana, which means you are from Indiana. Then LS de Indiana, which means he is from Indiana. And you can also use ella and usted in place of L. Then there is Nosotros somos de Indiana, which is guys and girls are from Indiana, or it means we are, but nosotros is guys and girls, and nosotras is no, all girls. And then you can also say ellos son de Indiana, which is pretty much saying like a group of people that are guys are from Indiana, and ellas is for girls, and ustedes is a uh, formal way. Some other words in Spanish that might be important to know for uh, making sentences would be de, which means from. So if you say, yo soy de Indiana, that means you are from Indiana. Um, another word that might be important is estudiante, which means student. It sounds like student. But uh, you could say, tu eres estudiante, and it says, you are a student. You know, it's asking, are you a student? And uh, amigo is another word that you could know, and that just means friend. You could say, mi mejor amigo. And amigo is friend. You could say, mi amigo. You could say, mi amigo, which means my friend. Hector, to Aries, Isabella. Si, yo soy Isabella. Soy. El es Miguel. Nosotros somos de Indiana. Ellas son amigas, hola. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Woo! Yeah, that's extra credit. That was the Please shortest skit I've ever done.